I am sure that more than once you have bought a book or a course and after investing your money and time in them, nothing has changed, right? At least it has happened to me. And to be honest, nowadays this is quite normal. Why is that? Well, it can be for two reasons. Either the book or the course wasn't that good, or at most probably because you haven't used your new knowledge at all. Remember, growing happens when you apply what you know. But why this happen? How can you avoid this? That is what we are going to answer in today's video. Also, at the end, I am going to share with you some tips so you can boost your performance. Without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Before you continue, let me tell you the advantages of watching my videos on my webpage. First, I break down my videos on the most important bullet points and their time, so you can watch the specific parts that you want to watch. Second, my content is separated by modules, so if you want to find them easily, you have them well classified on my front page, not to mention that you have my content on video, audio and written format. Third, I do not put ads on my web page, neither on my content, so you can enjoy it without interruptions. And to continue doing that, I need your collaboration. Don't forget to grab a copy of my free ebook. Thanks a lot for the help and enjoy the video. If growing happens when we use our new knowledge, why don't we do it? Let's be honest, the most difficult part is not to get the knowledge, it's to apply it. But why? Pretty simple, because taking action is much harder. When learning something new, you are going to have to fail a few times until you get it right. It is your first time, so you know that you are going to fail. At least there is high chances of it. We associate, generally speaking, momentaneous failure with complete failure. Not to mention that we usually are afraid of what other people will say or think of us. Unfortunately, when other people see you failing, some of them are going to laugh at you. And that can discourage a lot of people from simply even trying. Also, it is a lot, a lot of work. <laughs> First, you have to try. Then, you will have to analyze what went wrong. And then, you will have to try again and again until you get it right. And that takes time, 
energy and willpower. For all these reasons, it is much harder to start than to simply just get the knowledge. That's why a lot of the time we stay in a loop of knowledge acquisition from which we never leave because we feel that we are not prepared and we continue and continue on getting knowledge and more knowledge without taking any action. I have to admit that I am personally extremely <laughs> guilty of this at some point. <laughs> Growing happens when you realize that knowledge alone is not enough. Look, you can read a thousand books, you can do a thousand courses, or have the hundred top business mentors in the world, but if you don't do something with the knowledge that you acquire, it will be useless. Anyways, if you are not going to use your new knowledge, for what do you want it? If you are going to do that, it will be better that you invest your time and your money in something else. To make this crystal clear, let's see a stupid example, okay? You invest $10,000 in the craziest, craziest gene equipment and you hire the best personal trainers in the world. On top of that, you do three courses in nutrition and another three in sports science. You could not have more knowledge. You have the perfect base for changing your body, but then you don't go to the gym, not even once. What will happen then? Obviously that your body is not going to change. Do you see the problem on here? In business it is exactly the same. It doesn't matter how much knowledge you have, if you don't do something with it, you must apply your knowledge in order to get results. Additionally, theoretical knowledge is good, it's really good, but there are parts that you just can't learn with it. There are parts that can only be learned by practicing. Books and courses are great teachers, but experience is the best of all teachers, I mean, if you decide to learn from it. Growing happens when using knowledge properly, but how? There are two ways to use knowledge. You either use knowledge properly or you use knowledge poorly. And we all know what contributes more to success, do we? From my point of view, the best way to use knowledge is to acquire theoretical knowledge and combine it with practice and taking action. In fact, I am going to give you a blueprint, a plan if you must. So let's see it. First, acquire theoretical knowledge, inform yourself about the topic that you want to master, in this case, money and business. Another great tip, start always, and what I mean always is always, from the base. And I know that this sounds extremely obvious, but we tend to skip the basics because they are too easy for us. Don't make this mistake, okay? Second, take action and apply what you have learned. This is one of the hardest steps to take, but if you don't do it, you will not progress. Third, analyze what you have learned from taking action, okay? Experience and make the adjustments 
that you need to make. If you take action and you fail, okay, and you don't learn from it, you are not going to know what went wrong and you're gonna get stuck. Four, if the problem was that you didn't acquire enough knowledge, <laughs> acquire more. Now that you know what your weak point were, focus on that. Maybe the problem was that you didn't learn the basics properly or you overlook or skip some parts. Check it again and keep growing. Five, take action again and repeat the process until you get it right. The key to success is consistency. So get back up and try again. For me, this is the proper way to use knowledge. This is how I personally like to learn. But please be my guest and change the step at your liking. Maybe there is another way that works better for you. How to avoid the mortal trap? We all can fall into this mortal trap. What trap I am talking about? The trap of never ending preparation without never taking action. It's extremely easy to fall into this trap. In fact, at some point, I felt head first into this trap. Growing happens only and exclusively when you use your new knowledge. So I am going to share with you a bunch of options that you can try. It could help you avoid this huge mistake. Let's get started. First, establish a time limit to study. When that time finish, start. It doesn't matter if you are ready or not. <laughs> this will also help you to not waste any time. Second, talk to a friend so he or she can maintain you accountable. Also, they can keep you <laughs> a little bit when you need it. Third, make a bet with a friend. If you don't do what you said you were going to do, then you will have to pay your friend certain amount of money. Nobody likes to lose money, especially when what you are trying to do is to make it, <laughs> right? Four, reward yourself with something you truly like. It can be food or going out with friends or watching a film. I don't know, whatever it is, that you truly like and enjoy. Reward yourself only if you do the work. If you don't do it, then there is no reward for you. These are just some of them, but I find them quite effective. This will definitely maintain you on the right track and will help you avoid this mortal trap. Useful tips to boost your performance. In order to finish this, I am going to share with you my last tips that will help you boost your performance even more. So keep watching. First, have a mentor. Having someone that has already done what you want to accomplish is extremely important because they can help you a lot, especially in business. That's why I personally have a couple of great mentors. If you want to have the same mentors as I do, just check the link in the description. Read, watch, or listen to the Golden Prison daily content. There is no better way to stay on track and get your weekly motivation and knowledge about business and money. Third, whatever business subject that you choose, 
Choose one that you are passionate about. If you do it, you will find it much, much easier to do the work. You know what is really, really powerful? A daily reminder of how the day has gone. Subscribe to my newsletter and receive every single day a summary of that day. Let me tell you the daily history of how I plan to go from zero to 10 million. Subscribe to my newsletter and enjoy my daily journey. Hopefully, it will inspire you to also pursue your wildest dreams. See you on today's video. Conclusion. All I wanted to say has already been said. The only thing left is this. Never like ever lose hope, okay? At the beginning, it's going to be a bit complicated and tedious, but keep practicing. With time, you will become better and better. The more you practice, the better you will become. Be patient, and when you look back, you will realize how far you have come. Until one day, you will say, I made it! Now, you are a master. Then, it will be the time to teach others. Growing happens only when what we know changes how we live. Now that you know all of this, how this new knowledge is going to change your life. Only you can answer that.